The impact of racism has been damaging and long-lasting to the U.S. society. For more than 400 years, racism has influenced practices and policies that have led to unfair disadvantages for some racial and ethnic communities, while in turn providing advantages and sustained powers to others. Scientific racism. Um, have these beliefs ever truly been reconciled or have they been undone by the healthcare system to date? No. We've had a long history of these mythologies being presented as science. They're not science. As Dorothy Roberts pointed out so brilliantly, racism created race, not the yes. other way around. Right. The Tuskegee syphilis study, it's like the well-known that everyone kind of go to, even during this time of COVID, right? But this was not an anomaly. And what are the other key moments in history that you would highlight from medical apartheid? There are so many studies that far exceeded Tuskegee in their venality and in their harms, in their mortality. Tuskegee is, fr frankly, as bad as it is, just a shadow. So how has the conversation on racism and health changed from the time that you wrote The Medical Apartheid till now. It has changed dramatically. When I wrote Medical Apartheid, even writing about racial issues in health was difficult. Frankly, systemic racism was not even in, forget the vocabulary, the mindset of many people at that point. We're not talking about a few bad apples, so to speak. We're talking about a system that's profoundly flawed, has been from the beginning, and needs uh, amendation. Can you speak uh, more about the historical issues regarding consent? African Americans were not, it wasn't their health that was prized. It was their bodies and the work that could be extracted from them. We're in dire straits today in terms of informed consent. We're really in danger of losing it. And we need to be very vigilant on behalf of people who can't fight for themselves.